This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com. This show is brought to you by Slice on Broadway. Supporting Pittsburgh podcasting with the perfect pepperoni pizza, sliceonbroadway.com. And listeners like you, support this show at patreon.com slash awesomecast. Sidekick Media Services. We are your sidekick in business for social media, video production, and more. Find out more at sidekickmediaservices.com. Hey guys, it's time to get geeky, get awesome. It is the awesome cast. I'm Mike Sorga at Sorgatron on the Twitter here in the Sorgatron Media Studios in Beachview, Pennsylvania. Beautiful day in Beachview. Got the pizza. Everybody's voting. Everybody's walking around. I got to visit a, a, a business I haven't been to yet today uh, in the neighborhood. It's a good, a good time. Myself, a video producer here in the Pittsburgh area. We have a whole bunch of geeky people that do a lot of awesome things in the area. First of all, we have Katie Dudas is joining us. She's Hi. the director of sales and marketing at The Scare House and, and recent uh, stage host um, slash uh, chaperone <laughs> at Millville Music Festival. Yes. That was fun. <laughs> I, heard, I heard that you maybe maybe had to get the hose a couple of times. I do. <laughs> Those kids and their hormones. <laughs> <laughs> it was fun, but no, it was a great. It was it was a, such an awesome festival, and it was so cool, and it was so amazing to see. Even though there was that stupid storm that came rolled through, it was still it was such a good show, such That's such an awesome, awesome festival. It was That's so cool to be part of it. That's awesome. <laughs> and also coming with to us from Studio C. Uh, as long as his shirt doesn't kill the compression <laughs> on his camera, on his 4K camera. Oh, that, see, you're moving again, and you dropped some frames. John Chachilla is joining <laughs> us. He is the gadget guru at Big Bank International and uh, special special uh, Chilla camera breaking design uh, fashionista. Uh, I'm, I'm going to have to remember, A, not to wear this shirt for this show, like, but B, wear this when I really want to break things man, elsewhere. Like the focus went out when you moved. It was weird. <laughs> Ch- Chilla breaks the internet. <laughs> oh, geez. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sure my, it looks, my, I'm, it, I, my, feel, it, I feel like that shirt looks amazing in person. It's it's one of those ones where if you stare through it, it you it's see a sailboat. Is it a sailboat? <laughs> Are you a wearing sailboat. a sailboat? Hold on, let me cross my eyes. Nope, that's a migraine. Uh, <laughs> also with us um, uh, is uh, Crazy Kraus. I was trying. <laughs> no, I'm Ron. trying. I was trying to. Yes, your name. Ron. Yeah, no, no, I was trying to think of an, an interesting intro, uh, but it all kind of fell flat in my head going you're not into very it. Interesting is what he's no, telling no, you. No, 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 no. It was. The least it was going to be something. It was going to be something about you can take him out for lunch anytime. Uh, you know, we were talking about your your schmooze lunch today yeah. and everything. Uh, so Ron Kraus also um, Microsoft. You're our resident Microsoft um, Android guy. Yeah. Android guy, of course. You can pull that closer. Uh, <laughs> Okay. Uh, but thank you for joining us again. Thanks for having me. Uh, and of course, this is the Awesome Cast. You can check out everything at awesomecast.com. Uh, you can subscribe to the show on iTunes, Stitcher, Spreaker, iHeart, Radio, Google Music, Play, Google Play Music. Hey, Google Play Music Play. I, I'm sorry. I've been talking to my, my uh, Google Home and it's been getting really confusing. Yeah, and you have to be careful because. Yes. If you keep saying that loud enough, she's yes, yes, start she'll, doing she'll go. Sometimes I've said something on the Google that also sounds like Siri. That so it, it, then they both go off and it gets weird. It is a little bit on the weird side, so so that's been a thing I've been dealing with. So we have three assistants, actually technically four assistants, because thanks to Chillis Connect, um, <laughs> we have we have, we have a very crowded studio now. But anyways, um, but anyways, Lots of assistants. you can subscribe to those for the podcast version, and of course look for the awesome chat on the podcast providers as well. Um, also, hey, thanks to PC TV, uh, they actually have picked up awesome chat again. Actually, no, Awesome Chat for the first time. We used to contribute Awesome Cast to them, and it got a little bit of a, a pain to try to you know, clean them up for cable access, basically. Uh, but they were going to be carrying um, our Awesome Chat interviews that we've done uh, over there. So if you've been on the Awesome Chat in the past uh, maybe year, at least since we've been in the studio, uh, it's probably going to be popping up on uh, the local cable channels here. So you're flipping through and you see our faces. 
that's why. Uh, so thank you so much, PCTV21, for uh, picking us up again for that. Also, you can check us out live every Tuesday at 7 p.m. Eastern Time on the Awesome Cast Facebook page. And you can uh, check us our also our streaming partners, RiversEdgePGA.com, Saturdays at 9 a.m. Um, and roughly every third Sunday of the night, I'll be popping up for Awesome Thing of the Month. Uh, we're, we're moving that this month because I'm going to be in Kansas uh, shooting Baja cars. So, and also thanks to the 405 media.com who, uh, have us weekdays, 9 a.m. Pacific time, new Eastern. If you want to catch up on the latest episode and check out the Twitch for Sorgatron media, we've been rerunning the shows and putting them on there as well. Somebody tweeted me, uh, some of the interviews we were putting out, I think on the indie wrestling, uh, Twitch. So it's been, uh, reaching out to a new audience. So, uh, thank you. Anybody that might be new on the Twitch platform uh, that's been checking us, us out as well. If you want to be a part of the studio audience, again, please hit us up. And any other inquiries, of course, including advertising or other questions about the show or anything you think we should be talking about, awesomecast at sorgatronmedia.com. And again, like I mentioned, the advertising, if you want to get out to the audience here on the show, uh, we have a lot of people that do support the show that way. And people that support the show on Patreon. Uh, shout out to our awesome Patreon supporters, uh, of course, uh, uh, Matt Weller, uh, Matt underscore Weller on the Twitter and at the $5 coffee club level, he gets, uh, we were talking about how Fortnite has ruined Chilla's life and therefore we'll, uh, 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 uh do the same for Krauss here very soon. Mm-hmm. And, uh, some other things, including church podcasts of all things, right? Um, if you want to support the show, you guys can support it at patreon.com slash awesome cast. You get extra stuff like that. Uh, and thank you so much to our supporters, uh, Michael and Matt out there for supporting the show for so long. Let's get into the awesome things of the week. And let's talk about Krause's doorbell. Let's let's talk about his doorbell. Let's go see. Wait, wait, wait. Actually, let's go check in. Oh, hey, there's his porch. Live there it is. The live Rock. from Crazy Krause Central. <laughs> the the house of crazy. Uh <laughs> You got is that yes, a potted that plant would be in my there? Front door. Yes. It's a nice welcome mat, very colorful. Thank I like you. that. Lots of lots of chimes. It's it was, all it, my wife. It's very musical. Actually, I can I can if I unmute this, you can hear. Oh, somebody's driving by. Oh, look who somebody's going for a walk. There you go. <laughs> so what is this? What is this for people that aren't are not on a uh, uh, video to see? Exactly. That is the Nest doorbell, okay. or as they call it, the Nest Hello. Mm. Does it say hello? Hello. No, but when you ring the doorbell, mm-hmm. um, so it comes in a little kit. Uh, I believe it was two twenty nine for the kit. Um, you insert between the wires from the existing, the old doorbell into the chime. Mm-hmm. There's a little box. Uh, it's probably like two by two by a quarter inch thick, um, and that gets connected you follow the instructions um and then you hook the doorbell on the outside of the house connect it to your wi-fi load the app and when the doorbell rings it tells you you know it rings not only the chimes in your house but any of the phones that have the app installed or tablets <laughs> i love the video is just like like the people getting chased away when you go to the store for this uh <laughs> <laughs> but uh it, you know it's funny because it actually kind of looks like one of the amazon uh, uh dash buttons yes a little bit so so you haven't accidentally tried to like order toilet paper off of this yet have no you? i haven't no. tried to order toilet paper but i gotta tell you it's i've have had various different video cameras mm-hmm. in my life on my house because of where i live and um it is probably the greatest camera i've ever had mm-hmm. It, the the quality is unbelievable. The night vision is great. Um, it recognizes people. It also integrates with uh, the Google uh, devices. So when um, you know, once people walk in front of it, you can give them names. It'll ask you if you know who this these people are. So it actually identifies people, yes. not that they are people, but it. it yeah. You s- so like when my stepson comes to the front door, it'll say Andrews at the door. Okay. Over the over the um, Google um, puck, yeah, the, the home, uh, the homes, yeah. yeah. Now, we've got a couple of questions from the chat room on this. Uh, Brian Crawford's asking, can you talk to the person at the doorbell when they ring? Yes, you can. Um, there's a, if you, Sorg, if you bring that page back up. Okay. At the bottom there, there should be a little microphone 
So if you would, I don't know since you're on the web app if you'll see it, but on the on the Android and iOS app, right at the bottom of the screen, there's a button you click, and you just speak into your phone just like you were talking on a speaker call. So there's a where you say there's a microphone at the bottom. Yeah, there should be a button at the bottom of the page. There should be like click on the on the window. It might it might bring up some controls. Yeah, I'm not really. Okay, it might not. Here, I could maybe I could show you on the web on the. But yes, you do have that ability. I had some um, Jehovah's Witnesses showed up at the door the other day. That's the I, ultimate test. And I happen to be working from home. See right here, there's a talk button. Mm-hmm. So if I click that button right now, I could, you know, talk to my front porch. <laughs> you just yell off your porch. Yes. Hey! Get off my lawn. Ah! <laughs> like, well, I, like, like I just watched somebody walk by like right in front of your house. Like, Could you just like mess with them? Yeah, now I have to tell you, um, the neighbors across the street mm-hmm. were getting a little loud one night, mm-hmm. so I did push the button and scream, shut that up. So You don't even have to open a window <laughs> anymore, exactly. guys. Hey, yeah. hey, there it you go. It was after 11. Come on now. Yeah, yeah, that's that's understandable. Yeah. Now, but. Brian's also asking, does it work with a certain A-named uh, Well, MC? with the Echo. I, I can't confirm or deny that uh, I'm embedded with um, Google, so I don't actually own an Echo. No, oh, okay. But yeah, right. I'm I'm thinking it does because Nest wasn't always owned by Google, mm-hmm. and that device came out. But that doesn't mean they'll continue support for it. I was super I was super impressed with the video quality coming out of it, and what I like. That that device integrates with the home app, correct, or the the right. Nest app? Yes, exactly. So if you have if you have a Nest thermostat, it's an inside camera, and the doorbell, they're all in one heads up kind of display in the app, which I thought was super cool. My problem is getting the electrical run to actually power that device, but that's that's definitely on my list. And and where I think this is going to be really cool is when Google releases their, uh, what are they calling them? Their, their display devices. Like there's the, the assistant, it's, it's almost like uh, Amazon's uh, show. Show? Yes. Yeah, like when Google comes out with those with their devices. screen, I agree. Yeah. Oh, that's the I'm other sure thing too. I'm sure this is going to be, the, the smart displays. Yeah. I'm sure this is going to be quickly integrated within those devices as well. If you have the Chromecast connected to a television, you can say, okay, G, show me the door on my television, and it will actually bring up the feed from the front door and put it on the TV. So, Super cool. Yeah, it's, so it's very well integrated. It's awesome. Do you, have, do you have any fear about someone taking this off your front door? Um. It's it's anchored to the wall. Yeah, ha- I had to drill two pretty significant screws into this into the cement with anchors. Um, the back plate is is metal. So and plus, I would get them on camera before they would get away. Yeah, that's true. So, and the nice part is, is I did pay for. There is a uh, a subscription cost. Um, I paid for 10 days worth of uh, video backup, so it does archive it, you know, on the Nest website. <laughs> um, that cost me the $100 for the first year, and I think it's $50 for every year after. That's not bad. So, and, and, yeah, and I, that's what I thought. In the grand scheme of things, it's, you know, yeah, I think it's well worth Considering, because I've looked at it, like, what does it take to kind of support that on your own? And, I mean... You know, you'd have to link it to something like a Dropbox. Exactly. What you're going to be paying, if it's a Dropbox alone, you're going to be paying maybe $120 a year, $120 a year for that. Yeah. You know, and these guys are just going to take care of it for you. Yeah. Right. Right. And and, so. and I don't have to do anything. Like, it just does it. Mm-hmm. Awesome. All right, Katie, what is your awesome thing of the week? I'm hoping this video loads. I'm having a little trouble. Oh, oh no. It, oh, it did a little bit. Yay. All right, we'll get that takedown notice from NBC now. Yay, it's fine. Uh, but, uh, so, so what's going on here? Uh, so you know how we've been talking about uh, Nintendo Labo um, mm-hmm. and things you can make with cardboard and Nintendo, and it's awesome. Uh, so Jimmy Fallon, Ariana Grande, and his band, um, the, I think The Roots, yeah, mm-hmm. um, got together, and it's all 
So I played one of her songs with the Nintendo Labo Variety Kit and Robot Kit. Um, so they created all these different cardboard instruments using Labo, and they play one of her songs using it, and it's awesome. really, really good. And a couple interesting things I thought were, were pretty cool was uh, Jimmy Fallon was talking about how like this, the, it turns the guitar essentially into like a synthesizer. You can make any of the sounds you want on there. And if you look at his, uh, he's got rubber bands going around the screen. Mm -hmm. So it gives him the feeling like he's actually playing a guitar, which is, I thought was a kind of a cool different, you know, thing kind of, cause you wanted to actually feel like, you <laughs> what know, is, what is he playing? He's got the backpack and he's doing something too. Is that making an instrument? Like, yeah, they're like, all, so they adapted that. Yeah. And they worked with a Nintendo on it and, um, they were able to pull off all these really cool instruments. Let me see if I can pull a little bit of audio. Oh my gosh. Let me get to them actually playing something. And, and, and again, there's a piano, there's a guitar, there's the backpack thing that they made. Uh, it, 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 you know, okay, so this is um, at least seven Switch systems yeah. they're probably using. I want to point that out so it's not like you're going to have a, a Root-style band going on at home <laughs> or anything like that. Yeah. But still, like that, that's really cool that you could do something like that. You know, And of course, somebody you know figured it all out for them and everything. But, but Yeah, they worked with the Nintendo on this. They worked with Nintendo yeah. on it? Mm -hmm. That's awesome. Oh, wait, the, Fallon's, I love that the Tonight Show, the thing that I remember as the Johnny Carson show, right, mm -hmm. is now like where you show off video game things as they're coming out. Like, that's really cool to yeah. me, you know. Um, but it also kind of shows that, like, Fallon's like probably like what our age and you know mm -hmm. people our age obviously we're talking about video games like every week or so um look at what's in the studio for instance uh <laughs> so you know it's us going and reviewing these games and going and do these things and and everything and, and leading our kids to it right uh so it, it's it's uh you know it's awesome to see that so labo yeah i've been hearing some reviews yeah it's been a you know like somebody was like you know hey it seems interesting but i don't think my kid's gonna keep with it for long you know for what it is and it's like an 80 dollar yeah. setup mm -hmm. you know 70 dollars i think actually so but uh no, that's awesome so that's the uh Nintendo labo that's a uh this is over on ign.com you mm -hmm. can go check out the video we'll have a link in the notes and it's everywhere that video is everywhere now it's awesome thanks katie mm -hmm. uh chilla what is your awesome thing of the week so much to, I think, many, many people's surprise, Microsoft released information about their Surface Hub 2 Ooh. this morning. Um, there was a lot of rumor that they may have released it last or announced it last week at uh, Build, um, which we talked a little bit about, but they, they kept that around today. I'm glad they didn't wait till their next conference in the end of the year, hoping we'll actually see this device at Ignite later this year. Um, but the Surface Hub 2... Um, is a to me is is vastly different from their first first gen device. Um, looking at the device, it there is as of right now only going to be one model um, instead of the existing Surface Hub that comes in a 55 inch and an 80 inch. This is a 50 inch device, but you can stack them next to each other. Oh, and in look, at that. look at that wave on the wall! Look at that um, wave! That's amazing! That looks cool. So they're like yeah. they're like vertical panels that you like put next to each other, and they'll kind of uh, you know, they'll they'll link together to make one giant screen, or, or or either way you can go sideways. Yeah, and you can rotate that screen. So I'm wondering, are you going to be able to put a block of four kind of in a giant square on mm -hmm. the wall, like, or, or is it going to support multiple configurations? That's to to be determined. They do have far field microphones that support a really great pickup in conference rooms. There is hookups for 4K webcams. They're USB-C, so they're removable, so you can move the camera from the top to the side, um, wherever makes the most sense for you. Um, if you go to that other, um, there's the rotation. Uh, if you go to that other, the Verge article, they have like a nice little GIF animation part of the way down. The, the panels actually support multi-user login, so more than one user can log into the device that then allows you to pick and choose the person's content that may be on there on whatever um, uh, cloud-hosted storage service they have. Obviously, it's integrated with Microsoft Teams for collaboration, which is kind of the, the new way business version of Skype. Um, 
Overall, it's a pretty nice device. The device will be available, uh, I think, early 2019 with um, customer previews available towards the end of this year. Um, I'm interested. They said it will be priced competitively. Um, I'm interested to see what that means only because their original device started at nine grand Oof. and Google and Google launched their whiteboard at $5,000. So $4,000 cheaper. So I'm wondering if we're going to see this at, at, a, at a lower cost option, keeping in mind, there's probably a extremely high end I five or even I seven processor running in these things with a number of hookups. Um, I know the surface one, the Surface Hub Gen 1 had hookups for, if you're familiar with Crestron, um, it's like room systems that allow you to automatically set lighting, set blinds, set all kinds of stuff through room-based controls. Um, this this has, well, at least the first one had hookups for that in the back. Um, so I'm interested to see what, what they all offer with this, but I'm sure we'll find out more as the year moves on. That's awesome. I, and I've gotten a chance to play with one a little bit. The, the uh, Department of Health and Human Services, I think it is, on Smithfield. Uh, I've done a couple of those Amazon panels with uh, Public Source, and they have those in those conference rooms. So, I've, so if I have a little bit of time before uh, I go and poke at those a little bit, like I don't, you know, bring up websites or you know whatever to kind of get an idea of kind of how they work. Um, they, those are they're really cool, and these ones are a little, definitely a, like they look huge. Right. There's a lot to them. There's giant speakers on the side that go up the side and everything like they look like something that was definitely installed versus these look like they could just set on something. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you look at the display practically has no bezel whatsoever. Yeah. yeah. John, did you read anywhere? Did they confirm? Is there a battery there? Because that one that's sitting on the stand looks like it's it's turned on, but it's not connected to anything. No, and I, I think those were some of the artist's conceptions. Okay. When you looked at the one, if you look at the one that's like at the beginning of the video, you can actually see the wire running oh, down yep, the back I of the easel and yep, across the I floor. Um, the one thing I'm wondering is, is how much – so there obviously – when you think about video conferencing and, and massive amounts of data being pushed in back and forth and all using cloud hosted documents and PowerPoints, et cetera, I'm wondering what the wireless requirements are and is there a wired model of this for the wall mount? Um, I will say just briefly looking at the interface on the front end, um, I really feel like they gave the interface an overhaul as to how this device will work. Awesome. Awesome. Uh, well, uh, so my awesome thing of the week is, uh, geez, I, I see a lot of cool things uh, with uh, uh, Formula Michigan, but uh, in, and including like a Tesla 3, a Model 3 was pretty cool. Um, there, was a, there was a cool e-car that uh, Molly had. Uh, going on over there, so I want to give a shout out because that just happened this weekend. They usually, this is the place where like I got to uh, uh, take a ride in like the i car that Toyota had and everything like that, right? So that was kind of fun uh, to check out. There's a picture of the uh, e powered Molly uh, or Mala. I keep saying it wrong. I'm so sorry. I'm glad I'm not doing like the podcast with Mala or anything like that yet. Uh, but <laughs> and the Tesla three, the Tesla three. I want to give a shout out or, or just to, just to point out something. We we're talking about this before the show. Uh, you know, all that high-end technology, and there's, like, a wood finish to the dashboard kind of threw me a little bit on the one they had. Um, like, like kind of, like, wood paneling kind of thing. So, but my actual awesome thing of the week is I actually was, um, uh, we went for a stroll today because uh, it was super nice. It doesn't look like it now outside, but it was super nice earlier today. And we, you know, went and voted, uh, did that thing. And I saw the door was open on our neighbors up the street. So uh, I decided to, to finally drop in and say hi to uh, Tolan FX. If you don't know, there's a little bit of a... a creation creative media i guess you could say corridor happening between this and our friends at cut and run down the road and uh, uh Tolan up up the street you've probably seen the signs coming in kraus uh they're you, you they're noticeable <laughs> and i've seen that building when it was a print publication like a printer or something mm -hmm. right uh when they were getting out of stuff i got the the seed inside it so i got to get the tour today and it's really cool to see something like that and, and these guys you know are 
are really big with uh, uh, making a lot of things around film and television and other things uh, they were working on in there. There were some projects they were making like little models for uh, something was like for one of the local schools and, and some other kind of more mass production stuff as well. Um, they were making dinosaurs. There was, I, I think I saw the head of this one. If you guys are watching the video on the wall and, and even if you're in the neighborhood, if you come by the studio, like even they're, they're probably not there this late, but, uh, uh, take it, you know, pick your head in there. You see at least two of the monsters that they've made, uh, hanging out by the window. Uh, so that's a lot of fun. So it was, uh, just want to give a shout out to them. Thanks for, uh, uh, uh Steve Tolan was not in, uh, but his staff was super friendly and, and gave us the tour and everything. And apparently they're getting a lot of what we get here where people just peek their head in and be like, what do you guys do here? You know, stuff like that. Uh, so it's nice to see that we're not the only ones that have. Actually, I, when I went to vote today, somebody saw my name and says, what do you do up there? You know, <laughs> so that's having a good bit. Um, at least people don't think I'm a radio station anymore mm-hmm. in the space. I was getting a lot of that. They thought a tower was going up on the building. So is that so shout out to them tolan fx up here in the neighborhood also in the neighborhood i want to give a shout out to our friends that have been supporting podcast pittsburgh podcasting for the perfect pepperoni pizza uh our friends over there at slice on broadway the og the original up here in uh beach view on broadway avenue right up the street from us and uh, of course there are other locations over at pnc park home of the pittsburgh pirates east end and this is their newest location and uh, Carnegie PA down on Main Street. I do love, I've been really enjoying their campaign, their social media campaigns lately. But even like the guy, the, the driver that was getting out and delivering uh, when I went to pick up our pizza tonight, like they have some, like the, it's a Pittsburgh Pirates P, but it's for pizza. <laughs> so uh, like they have a lot of fun with the branding uh, being down there at the uh, stadium with the, the ball games and everything like that. So give a shout to them. Thank you for supporting the awesome cast and other fine programs here on the Sorgatron Media Network. Please go support them. Please head down to Slice on Broadway. Hit them up PG, PGH underscore Slice on the Twitter and let them know the awesome cast sent you. So, all right, let's, let's take a local focus, guys. Um, so... Let's touch on these guys real quick. This is a campaign. I, I went to the Alpha Lab Coffee a couple weeks ago. These guys are doing okay with this. I had a conversation, and, and probably will be soon for Awesome Chat, with uh, Honeycomb. It's an Alpha Lab company. So think crowdfunding, like a Kiva loan or something like that, or a Kickstarter for small businesses that actually include like an interest rate and, and stuff like that. Um, there's actually, you can go to uh, honeycomb doc, uh, home, honeycombcredit.com and uh, under their projects right now is Tall Pines Distillery. I believe this is the third campaign that they've done. And they're looking, I believe these are the ones that are looking to do a deck and it's hard to get money for something like this because, you know, being around alcohol from like a bank. So they're basically uh, crowdfunding to their audience to help fund that. Uh, and it was a kind of an interesting uh, idea for companies to uh, be able to do that uh, over there. So, and again, they're kind of a, a few cycles back, I think, on Alpha Lab, but I got to meet them a couple of weeks ago. And it sounds like they got a pretty cool thing going. So, you know, it, it's always hard to get uh, money as a small business. So it's uh, fun to see, uh, or it's good to see there's something like that coming up. So I want to give a shout out to them. Um, have you guys been following the esports stuff in Pittsburgh? At all? No, I can't say I have. Do Do you know what our team name is? I know there's a Pittsburgh team, but I don't know the name. It's of the it. Pittsburgh Knights. Knights. And and they're making a big play for this. And uh, and there was an article over on uh, Next Pittsburgh talking about it. I thought it was interesting because they're they're kind of they had a bit of a panel on the entrepreneurs forum about it and kind of talking about the stuff that they're trying to do. So. This was interesting. Even though the team is based in Pittsburgh, the team members are actually located around the world. Hmm. Like they're not actually like physically have to be based in a Pittsburgh. It's a work from home world. It's a work from home. <laughs> it's a, it's a it's it's a yeah, it's a work from home league, I guess, right? Um but uh you, you're getting all that money you can't even move here. Come on, guys. You know, so we got internet cafes, we got, you know, LFG, we got we got a lot of stuff for you. Come on. Can't attract them. Um, but, uh, and, and they're kind of moving into a world where I think, I think, you know, it seems that like a lot of the other teams were kind of more like, like region based, like, like, you know, representing countries. And then we have like a Pittsburgh team. So 
kind of an interesting look in that article about what's going on there. Um, also, uh, this this is, I think we've heard about this before, but some colleges are definitely giving scholarships for this too. Where the hell was this when I was going through school? <laughs> <laughs> the logo's kind of cool. For the Pittsburgh Knights? Yeah. I don't think, I, I remember we pulled it up before. Knights Esports. And, and they're doing multiple games too. Like the, this league is going to be doing like things like Overwatch and, you know, maybe like the basketball games and stuff like that, which kind of imitates that a little bit. Here it is for you guys on video if you want to check it out. Kind of an interesting wing logo kind of situation. That's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. So um, <laughs> I love the, uh, oh, it looks like they're doing PUBG into the lion's den. Uh, come on, these guys at least have to come to town and ride that incline that they show on the front page, right? Mm -hmm. So, all right. Uh, also, we had a lot of submitted stories I want to touch on, too. Um, we were talking about a little bit beforehand. You, you remember the creepy dog that opened the, do the door for the other creepy dog, the robot dog that we are all afraid of because we all watch Black Mirror? Mm -hmm. um, you can now uh, purchase said creepy dog very, very soon uh, from Boston Rob <laughs> Dynamics. Uh, dynamics uh it, it's going to be uh available for uh i guess very high-end retail in 2019 so i've seen it do a lot of stuff i don't know entirely what the purpose like the retail purpose for it is um other than to serve me drinks like in short circuit uh or or, or creep out your neighbors <laughs> they they mentioned surveillance but then they said because of like the movement of the legs and everything the battery only lasts for about 90 minutes. So you just have to unrun it, outrun it for a little while. Yeah. Yeah. It's <laughs> like, well, I, I, I can outlast this, right? How long has it been? What's it shift? Right. Um, it, it wouldn't be great if it did just like kind of go in, like you have motion sensors in the house and it just like parks itself on the charger. Like, like there's been, I've seen some drones that do that, you know? So, um, I, I, you know, maybe a patrol kind of situation or something like that. Uh, but no, no price has been given because, Man, so when do we get this one? The one at the bottom here. The, it, would, the, it would be, it would be interesting if they could use it in like rescue situations to send it into like a house that maybe un uh, or, or have structural issues and try to find people, rescue people, oh, that yeah. kind of thing. It would be, it would be really cool for that that type of use. Yeah, I think it would be pretty great for that. I mean, it, it doesn't really, you know, it, it's called the Spot Mini if you're looking for, for that as well. Uh, so you can get your creepy dog soon and then, you know, marry it with the uh, Google duplex. So it'll um, order spa treatments for you or something uh, <laughs> trying to catch up with this AI world. But anyways, did you guys catch uh, Ryan Reynolds as the unicorn? Yes. It was amazing. This is, a, this is like a Japanese karaoke show. Yeah, I think it's a Kore Korean. 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 Yeah. Korean? yeah. Um, and uh, yeah, it says it right in the headline. And apparently the unicorn. Now the video, I don't know if it's this one, but I got messed up because one of the videos they showed um, didn't actually have the reveal at the end and I had to go to the next video. Yeah, that's I think the first one that I saw too did the same thing. And I'm like, what? what is this? And then I realized I had to scroll so down. So I guess, I guess this is the, the, the game show is, like, you know, everybody karaoke's and I'm, I'm guessing that they're um, rating them, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, every once in a while maybe, or maybe just in this case... Um, it happened, the, the, the creepy karaoke unicorn happened to be Ryan Reynolds himself. So he was there, I would guess, for his new movie? Yeah, he's making the rounds. I was just watch I was watching him and Josh Brolin on like a British uh, talk show today because it's on YouTube. And uh, it's he's everywhere. But how does the creepy unicorn equate to? You know, really, it's not too far off. Okay. And it's korean game shows you know maybe that's the part of it i, I, mean, I, I really think ryan Reynolds is like i want to be on this weird ass korean mm -hmm. game show. like please oh, book well. me on like agent book me on this but i don't understand no no just just do this it'll be great and here it is it's a meme right yeah uh so he's definitely getting some publicity for it oh that's he's for getting sure. for it's everything. everywhere he had yeah. a celine dion interview or a, a music video mm -hmm. he you know he's he's been Getting around, I, I think this, the Deadpool has to be the movie he has the most fun promoting. <laughs> like the, the promotion him and David videos, Beckham were great. Him and Be what really? Did you see that? No. He goes to apologize to David Beckham for I guess he made fun of him in his last in the last movie. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. Great. There's oh, a. It's man. on YouTube. Watch it. It's great. 
It's great. Well, you, I'm watching the interview and realizing how much is like, man, no, just Deadpool is Ryan Reynolds. Like, straight up at straight, this point. Oh, yeah. Like, mm-hmm. it's just Ryan Reynolds in a mask, and that's Deadpool. Okay. Well, we were having this conversation at lunch the other day mm-hmm. how, you know, Tony Stark is now, oh, God, his name just walked out of my head. Help me, John. Uh, uh, um, he's now. Iron Man? Robert Downey Jr. Robert Downey Jr. <laughs> is Tony Stark. You know, mm-hmm. Ryan Reynolds is Deadpool. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, sure. They're just assume, like taking over that. Josh Brolin is now Thanos and yes, Cable, exa- which is the weird one. Yeah. He's yeah. everyone. He is everyone a little bit. You know, um, you know, it was Ryan Reynolds kind of had to shed that, uh, you know, he kind of had to shed that, uh, the, 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 the Green Lantern you know, stench off of him a little bit. The and CG I love that stench. he even mentioned it in the movie. Oh, yeah. Oh, the, in the commercial, they were throwing down with Justice League. Uh, 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 that was that was a lot of fun. Uh, Missy, what's going on with Snapchat? They've joined the ads game. Well, they, they've they had ads, but... But they've joined the forced ads game, so oh, you can't skip past them. Oh, man. But it's not on every option it's it's apparently on their in-house produced shows type okay. of thing okay. uh, that, that feature i'm not entirely i'm not on snapchat so i couldn't tell you but i do know that it's kind of pissing people off mm-hmm. like that that i do know um it's short stuff and it's only limited release at this point as they're testing the waters with it but uh they, they've caught up with the rest of the people that hey we could actually make people watch these things and charge other people money to make that happen mm. Mostly we see this and the, they have some examples in here. A Deadpool 2, the uh, Galaxy S9, and the Tag movie, which, which by the way, looks hilarious. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I mean, and this is this is falling off of them, you know, not doing well. Apparently they're losing users. And, uh, you know, with the, that last design, apparently uh, pissed off a lot of their core base there. Well, they, they so. had a, a, an update on that. Okay. So, oh, wait, I'm gonna have to school everybody on Snapchat yeah, yeah. now. <laughs> I haven't, Hi, I haven't even been trying the Snapchat no, really? for a while. Uh, but so, so with your Snapchat this update, my Snapchat Katie, update, yeah. My Snap game Welcome is to the limited. Sna- You're fine. Welcome to the Snap game. Okay. Snap game. Uh, well, okay. So you do you you have your your friends, or I think it's a, it's a little bit easier to see. They've got a chat column and a group column, and, and but yeah, it's it's a lot easier to figure out what's going on. At least I think from the update than it was before. And it's not just a bunch of stories. It's pretty much I have a conversation mm. a chat column. So I just know where all my talk with my friends. I don't I don't tend to watch a lot of stories, but I can tell when my friends have a story up. Um, but in the, the discovery tab, you can go in and it's it's addicting. It is, it is addicting once you go into like the discovery tab and you start watching uh because you have your friends' stories on top, and then you can do subscriptions, and then for you, where they suggest things that you might be interested in, and a lot of them are like major magazines, like networks and things. And then this is the section in here where you're in Discover that you're going to get the ads. They're going to sneak them, like the Bleacher Report, Vogue, IGN. You know, all these are in here, and then you just start watching their snaps, and they'll be like a one of the snaps will be a six second ad for something in there. So you're really not going to be impacted much by it, which really makes me laugh. I'm going to call out all my old friends, as in age old not like they've been around a long time as my friend old in the fact that I saw one of them post um, that, Oh, this is, this is the, this, I don't even use Snapchat, but this is done. This is like the, like, you don't even use it. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you don't even to... know the style of what, what, what happens there. <laughs> I am the oldest person in the room mm-hmm. and I have to, and that was the first thing I thought of, you know, it's six seconds of an ad. Like, people have to realize these things do cost money to make happen. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, you're you're essentially on that service for free. Mm-hmm. So they have to make money somehow. Exactly. A six-second ad seems like a pretty good compromise Well, to it's me. really funny because it was it, literally this had popped up right after I had been I, – I was watching something on Facebook, a video on Facebook, and I got six seconds into it before I got sick of it. Like it was a 10 second long video and I was six seconds in and I was done. Okay. Like, I, like they, they put so much research into so figuring how long so people will watch. Gold fishing a little bit. I mean, Everybody why, goldfishes. I mean, that's why Vine, you yeah, know, I that's mean, why, that's how long. What, mm-hmm. what is, um, Vine was seven seconds. What, what is it on uh, YouTube? Three seconds. Yeah. Right. Or sometimes five mm-hmm. seconds, uh, to do it. No, no, it's, it's five seconds to skip it. If they have a skip button mm-hmm. and, and they count a view if you stuck around for three seconds. Mm-hmm. 
which it seems like it's not much, but when you talk about like flipping through something like a YouTube, you click the thing, it's not what you thought it was, you know. Um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I can see the kids getting mad about this, but it, it, it's kind of inevitable. Like something needs to happen. They're like, not selling enough spectacles at this point, right? Well, you got to make, like Krauss says, you have to make money somehow, and, and there's not enough data. Like the, because I, I think people are like, oh, it's a free service. I don't pay anything. You're paying in your data, mm-hmm. first of all. And then, so there's not really much data to mine from Snapchat. So you got to go over into the monetary where you're selling the ads. Yeah. Right. Like Christ, so. Right. Mm-hmm. So it'll be interesting to see. So what do you think? What do you think is going to come with this? Is it something that's going to keep going, you know, or they're going to resend this? Like, it seems like they've. Oh, I bet you kind of they'll, they'll keep it. They'll keep and, it. They, and, they yeah. have to. Mm-hmm. They they now have and they they now have a board of directors and stockholders to answer to. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, that's right. They're public. They went, they went public. Um, Ooh, be interesting yeah, so they they have to be able to show profitability right. in an in an upward trend momentum. Right. I mean, they they can't just even stay stagnant. Absolutely. So we'll see what happens there. Um, Amanda, was it Amanda that did this? I think, yeah, Amanda Narcissi uh, shared something interesting. So, smell of vision hasn't wor- ha- happened yet, but how <laughs> about smell of alarm clock, guys? <laughs> it's the Sensor Wake. You can go to trio.sensorwake.com. It's all, you can join the wait list. It's going to be only $60 on launch day, and it will wake up, wake you up with the sweet smells, sights, and sounds. So um, it, it does like nine plus cents, dynamic lighting, and five motivating melodies to wake you up. Stimulating light. Uh, it, it, there's, well, I'm going down to, oh, it's also recyclable because you have these like air pouch things that you can put into it. You can wake up to fresh coffee, peppermint, pine, and more. Oh, there's tropical fruit, tea tree, um, orange juice. Listen, if I'm waking up to fresh coffee, I better be going to have immediately uh, some fresh coffee, okay? Like that it needs cup. to be in yeah. brewing, <laughs> yeah, in a cup, ready to go. When's my alarm clock gonna make some coffee? They actually right? have one of those that it brews a product. It brews yes! a cup of coffee. Now for we're you. talking. <laughs> now we're talking. Now we're talking. So uh, you can check that out. Join the wait list. Thank you, Amanda, for moving. <laughs> Jeez, it looks like and it looks like uh, it reminds me of those chumbies or something, right? Mm-hmm. Um, That's exactly what it was making me think of and again again with the wood finish to it just like that that tesla what is happening in technology now what's Don't we try old to make, is new we're sword. making everything look like an atari 2600 what's happening Jeez. it's for the hipsters it's for the hipsters <laughs> for those tech hipsters that uh need their smell no, notice clock. patchouli is one of the scents that you can of put in there of course it is <laughs> oh boy one of those hey one of those young whippersnappers that probably know more about snapchat than i do and everything uh he's uh he's doing some fun stuff here alex Carr is out there on the west coast has been supporting the shows and we've been doing some work with him over the years t-shirts websites uh dvd covers and uh and of course normally we talk about alexcars.media on this show but in this case we're going to talk about uh what a maneuver.com uh where uh alex is doing something cool this month um their store is actually going to um this store is actually for this month going to give proceeds to the autism and oh, oh I lost it there. Asperger's. Asperger's. Thank you. I knew it was no another way. A. Uh, the autism and Asperger's um, uh, network uh, from those proceeds. Uh, you can get merch to help support the cause over there at whatamaneuver.net uh, and look up the Occupy Pro Wrestling Store. And again, it's very. Oh, I, was, I brought this up last month, last week. There, Katie. Uh, there's your friends' uh, wrestling T-shirt that you definitely need oh, to pick smart, up. Yeah. There you go. You, that's what you need to wear when you're interviewing the wrestlers. <laughs> 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 so, um, but no, go check it out, please. What a maneuver. Net. Go support that and some great uh, Asperger's and Autism Network uh, with proceeds from these, and you get some cool uh, wrestling gear. Uh, while you're at it for the month of May. Thank you so much to our friend Alex Cars and Occupy Pro Wrestling slash AlexCars.media, K-A-H-S, uh, K-A, damn, it's not in front of me, K-A-H-R-S, uh, AlexCars.media. Okay, uh, let's get into 
a few more stories here before we bounce out here for the evening. Um, also, uh, stay tuned. Uh, we're we're going to have, if you're on the stream, uh, our friend is joining us on the Wrestling Mayhem Show, Thrifty. If you haven't checked out, check out the Thrifty Podcast. It, he goes thrift shopping and, and talks to about his haul. It's a lot of fun. He does a lot of cool research on the stuff he finds. Um, and it was a lot of fun to have him in studio a few weeks ago uh, for their kind of Thrifty's Greatest Finds. And, you know, I found all kinds of interesting stuff like the Ninja Turtle that I'm about to put on Instagram. <laughs> that that still talks to me. Uh, so, uh, but anyways... Um, so, so Kraus, you you are uh, at that phase of your life that many of us here on the show have been, and we've talked about our trials. And I mean, if there's one constant that's been in the near eight years of this show, somebody is on the verge of cutting the cord. And welcome to uh, coming up to the club. Thanks, Sork. Yes, I am c- considering cutting the cord. Well, it's time to do something. Yeah, I gotta take <laughs> out the garbage. Oh, uh, <laughs> but um, yes, I've I've been thinking about it for a while now. Um, I'm currently using Verizon FiOS, and my wife and I are at a point where we're looking at our usage and we're looking at what we're spending, and the two numbers just don't make a whole lot of sense. Mm-mm. So I've I, I went and bought uh, this weekend and bought an uh antenna on amazon it should be here tomorrow and i'm gonna stick it up in the house and see what kind of reception i get you got this guy it's one of those kind of flat hd antennas exactly kind of thing. This is pretty much yeah. standard you know. i know you're worried about that you have a hill between you and you might not get all the channels yeah yeah wait 4k yeah you can get 4k over the air over the air uh-huh. is that really happening it's magic yes what yeah, you can get 4k and and forever it's been before this, it's been 1080p, but with 5.1 uh, Dolby Digital Surround. Oh, sound. yeah. They, oh, they've yeah. always been doing digital surround over the air. Wow. I didn't know that they, they, they had 4K yet. Well, okay. Well, now here's the other question Who in the area actually supports 4K yeah. in their broadcasts, right? Like, like I the, think they all do. Like all the all the big ones, at least, right? Yes. I think all but the But it's majors. also what, what cameras are they using to record those? Yeah. So, yeah, 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 yeah. Actually so, so not the, the programs, the programming itself may not be in 4K. The evening news may not be in 4K. Law and Order is probably in 4K, right? right? And that may be all you get. Like the stuff in that primetime block that they put out at NBC or ABC or whoever, right? Yeah. I think, right? Right. We'll be getting Lucifer in 4K. You'll be getting Lucifer. <laughs> so Fox the question is, it. though, is seriously, really? Oh, that's a bummer. Um, to DVR or not to DVR? Mm. You know, because uh, like, this, this one goes to Chilla. Because as so we were I, t- I, just, yes, go ahead, Chilla. Go ahead. So, so I say, as a as someone who owns a TiVo, I don't think we could live without the DVR, and here's why: because we have completely gotten used to no commercials. Um, so for the eight to ten dollars of of service cost for TiVo and the fact that you get a DV and that gives you your guide your 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 TiVo and centralizes the watching of HBO to go if you turn that on and off at at will things like Netflix YouTube etc um having that all in one interface I think is big but the biggest thing is the we call it, in, and it's because it is the D button, the big D. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you hit, I mean, you, you literally, it comes commercial time, you hit the button, and the show just it kicks back off to the next segment. Oh, so um, you don't even have to like double click, uh, triple click. There's or not even single, double, triple click the fast forward. It is literally, oh, it's commercial break. Boom. Okay. Let's start watching again. Keep on moving. Yeah. And, and, and again, I mean, I, I I know I sound like a, a TiVo fanboy, but I mean, just the way that they take and aggregate what you're o- only what you're paying for and help you find more content um, that's not going to cost you anything above and beyond what you're already paying. I just find that invaluable. Mm-hmm. And if you decided you were going to do Hulu for a month or you were going to do HBO to go for a month, you, you, you log into the app on the TiVo and then you have, you log out when you're not using it anymore. I mean, it's, it's not hard. Yeah. I just, I don't know. Cause 
I read an article and actually what because I was all intent all in on buying the DV, on buying a DVR. I just couldn't decide which one. And then I read an article where they talked about the fact that, you know, if you have a Hulu subscription, maybe you don't really need that DVR because we pretty much, my wife and I pretty much don't watch anything what I would consider live. You know, it's it's all either DVR'd or the next day or two days later, you know, something like that. So having that library from Hulu could you know potentially replace the need for the DVR? So, so here's here's what I would ask: go spend a week and watch all the commercials, right? And see how you feel. Because that's that's, that's what it out. comes down to. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Because I mean, that's thought. what you're getting. That's a that in the single. You, no, no matter what you're using, what and and here you could actually go and get the USB tuner for your Xbox. And use your Xbox as a DVR. Um, that's totally possible. Um, to me, it's the the single interface and the and the um, being able to fast forward through commercials. Right, because I guess I would get a guide through the Xbox. Now that you mentioned it, correct. Hmm. Chilla just threw me a curveball, mm-hmm. mm-hmm. like Chilla does. Uh, and related to the cord cutting, Katie, are you still watching VHSs? Of course. Okay. Why would I stop doing that? <laughs> Have you gone through that box of old uh, WWF pay per views? No, I, I, I haven't gave gone you? through them now. No, no, not yet. Sorry. <laughs> you don't need the WWE Network. It's good. I know. Exactly. It's good. So you're watching non high def. <laughs> can we talk about her? Her? Can we talk about her Star Wars collection of VHSs? I would. It's amazing. I don't know. I think I have four different sets of the original trilogy, like all the different versions of yeah, VHS. The, I'm, I, a, I'm impressed by the 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 black box widescreen ones that come in like they're side by side on like a flip out box yes. kind of situation. Like she pulled it out, I thought she had a laser disc. How many spare VCRs do you have, just in case? I have one. Okay, so I <laughs> I have a TV, DVD, and VCR combo. Nice. That's that's my television is what? that the one i kicked you yes yeah that sorg gave me and he also gave you, me you a vcr the, you, you've seen it in the studio before uh-huh. it used i to be, remember it. It, yeah. it it used to be one of our monitors and yeah it, <laughs> it lives in my house now and then he gave me an extra vcr so i have an extra vcr if needed by the way i got two or three at home still so yeah okay <laughs> I'm, so I'm good you're i got a supplier <laughs> well see i've been doing something um i, I and i talked about this on the show like i kind of have and i don't spend a lot of time in it but i'm trying to consolidate all of the stuff like all my my hoarding slash collecting uh, <laughs> into a room, like the old video game consoles. And I literally grabbed all the DVDs and all the VHSs and all the CDs in the house and put them in that room. And I'm going to put them on shelves. And this is where physical media lives in this one room with the old games and cartridges and whatever mm-hmm. all other goofy stuff I've collected. And if it's not something that I feel belongs in that room, it goes for one thing, right? So, so one, it gives me a focal point instead of just shuffling stuff into another room of, of all this old stuff. Because, you know, there's still, like, stuff from how many moves that we never really even got out and all this kind of crap. I mean, uh, If you it know, stays in a box for more than a year, yeah, you don't need it well, anymore. Then I can throw away basically my house at this point. <laughs> but, but, you know, so, so but is it like, let's just, start, like, this is the old stuff room. There's the old 2007 iMac, one of the old laptops we used to use. I load old Steam games on it. And at some point, that'll be my disconnect because nothing in there is on the internet. <laughs> so that is my, like, that's my... That'll ca- be your safe it's, room? It's my technology camping trip. I'm just going to load up Doom 2 and throw in a VHS of Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure, and we're going to be good to go. Right. Speaking of Bill and Ted's, yeah, I know. I heard it's supposed to be coming back. <laughs> it's coming back. <laughs> oh boy! Um, also available on Hoopla if you have that uh, uh, library card or whatnot. So, man, I didn't even <laughs> that basically. I don't think we need to talk about much else at this point. <laughs> Is there any other stories in there you guys do want to touch on for sure before we head out of here? Chilla, Chilla, you had the most stories. Um, 
<laughs> I mean, there's nothing huge for me. Uh, the For anyone that's interested, if you Google, uh, you can now change your voices in the Google Voice Assistant, whether it's iOS or Android. I thought that was pretty cool. Fortnite might be coming to the Switch. Ooh. Ooh. Um, and the one that I thought that was actually coolest is there's a product called Big Screen um, that allows you to stream your laptop, desktop, whatever, to a Gear VR, Oculus Rift, or Oculus, the new Oculus Go. I thought that was pretty cool tech to check out, so if, mm-hmm. if you're interested in any of that. By the way, we were talking about your shirt that is like like completely degrading your 4K camera right now. The, the uh, anti-compression shirt. Yeah, your anti-compression it's, it's shirt. It is amazing how we watch you. Like Your, your audio is not going away. It. It just, your, your image is deteriorated, but Steve's in the chat room from uh, Bold Sports, and he says, uh, hey, Chilla, as I look at that shirt, is it a Ben Sherman? It looks like a few that he has. It, it is not. I, I, I actually used to own a couple of those, and they, they withered away. Um, this is an express Jeez. shirt, and if and I don't think you're going to be able. It's going to be able to. Nope. You're going to be able have, to make it out. Is a leopard oh, print? Maybe what is no, happening? No, 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 you're breaking the internet. Put it it's away. T- Put it away. <laughs> it's actually tiny, tiny flowers. Oh, we never would have guessed that. Can you or please? Or a sailboat. Can You'll you never please? Know. Can you please take a shirt selfie for us so we can see what is actually going on over there? Sure. <laughs> that might just be our... Uh, I'll post it out on Twitter after the show. Okay, thank you. Thank you. So we can solve that mystery as well. Um, but no, you did share a little bit of uh, fun stuff in there. There's, uh, I'm actually, I was actually bringing up this uh, big screen app that now you can look at your desktop in VR. Man, yeah, I, 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 might, I might be interested in that Oculus Go because my gear just doesn't last anymore. Uh, so, I mean, and you can't replace the battery cause it's a success. Oh, right. So, it's of, sealed. Yeah. And it doesn't take a, it doesn't take a charge while you're using it plugged into the unit and, and it just, plus it overheats all the time. So man, that Oculus Go is looking kind of, uh, uh, a nice, uh, a nice, nice idea at that point. So, it, it, do you, do you have the Slack up? Do you have our Slack open? Uh, yeah, I should. If you go to the Awesome Cast channel, I just uploaded. You just uploaded this picture? I just uploaded Whoa. my arm. You just uploaded your arm? Oh, they are little flowers. <laughs> are they little flowers? Very nice. Little yes, flowers. they are little flowers. Cute. Oh, uh, Sorry, I didn't have the, the app open, so it needed to load for a second. What? That is not... I saw that shirt live and in person, and you I didn't did. realize it was you flowers. You did? Did you go cross-eyed? No. No? <laughs> there it is. Hold on, hold on, camera one. This, I'm sorry, this is all you guys. I am so sorry to audio people this week. Let's see. Ca- <laughs> camera one. Camera two, camera one, camera two. Yeah, those flowers. I'm surprised people don't generate this kind of stuff to like steal stuff. I mean, think of that. you blow out all the cameras. Exactly. Oh, geez. Oh boy, it's like so the much fun. Cloak of think about it. You can make a hoodie out of that material, and you yeah. go invisible. Well, yeah, it's like that blur. You know, just when you walk into the the convenience store. Chilla, um, where do you? And your magical Where shirts on occupy the on the internet. Um, you can find me at chillatech.net, uh, John Chill on the Facebook, Chilla on the Twitters. And if you have other cool patterns in your shirts or fabrics, let me know because I can wear them on this show. <laughs> <laughs> Wardrobe furnished by. <laughs> <laughs> We're just gonna, we're gonna, we'll get you on the thrifty podcast, but you'll go clothes shopping. Uh, Katie, dude, is where where do you reside on the internet? Um, Kate Marie PGH on Instagram, something on Facebook, Twitter's Kate Utters. <laughs> hey, dude, fun tip if you have not turned on two step verification for your Facebook, I'd advise you to do so. Why? Because I got my first, uh, someone tried to get into your account and change your password oh. notification. Oh. Yeah, I got an email and it was like, here's your password. Re- uh, reset code and i'm like i nope. didn't request a password reset mm. and there's been a lot of page hijackings what it happened to a friend of mine where essentially someone hijacked their page and it kept their pictures but all of the information they changed over to something else oh. and it took facebook a solid week to get it back to her it takes a long time to get that fixed yeah, yeah. Wow. So, oh wait hey wait what what happened you're back hi what do you mean i can see the flowers on your video now I didn't do anything. <laughs> <laughs> Did you change your shirt? You changed your no. shirt. <laughs> I swear. The, wow. It's still the anti-compression shirt. You're, you're back to like 4K squeezed I'm down to... back in 4K you're, glory. You're, you're in 4K squeezed His down to 720. His streaming. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> exactly. 
Uh, Crazy Krause, where are you online? Crazy Krause. Crazy Krause. On Twitter. Hit them up about your Microsoft yeah, and Android and if any, questions. You're anybody on. Anybody has suggestions on DVRs, please go. let me know. And you are. We didn't even talk about it. You are on Android P. Yes, Android for P. Pie or pistachio? Who knows? Pineapple. Pineapple. You're on it's Apple pineapple. pineapple. And I gotta we should, say, we take a poll for a beta. I I'm got, pretty impressed. Nice. Nice. All right, running on uh, what is that? The Pixel Two XL. Pixel Two XL. Cool. 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 All right, and of course you can check out everything at SorgatronMedia.com. A lot of great uh, shows going on here, and uh, also I uh, do. Oh, I do want to give a shout out to our friends at the Sparkle Dragon Magical Emporium. Uh, there uh, again, a I know we're a very regional podcast, but right here up the. Up the street, uh, uh, Joyce has been an awesome uh, member of the community. We've been doing a lot of stuff with. Uh, whether you're looking for a cup of tea, a psychic reading, or just want to get that perfectly whimsical item for yourself as a gift, uh, the Sparkle Dragon Magical Emporium has just what you need. Uh, they also offer classes on beading, soap making, and more. Uh, stop in, say hi to Joyce, or visit their site for additional information. Tell me you've heard about us, heard about her on the awesome cast as well. You can find more information at Sparkle Dragon dot com uh so yeah another i know she's she's also always liking our posts from this and the wrestling mayhem show as well so i uh, really really appreciate the support there um also a uh, coming up and i think this is next week if i have my dates right we're gonna have kenny chen from ascender is going to be joining us here in the studio and i believe the week no, two weeks after that. That means I need to book somebody for the end of the month. Uh, if you have any ideas, let me know. Uh, <laughs> we're going to have our eight-year anniversary celebration and 400 episodes on the 5th of June. Slash my wedding in- anniversary. So we need to make it really, really special, guys. Thank you, Producer Missy. <laughs> <laughs> it All right. takes our wedding anniversary for you to remember to thank the producer. <laughs> Thank you so much, everybody, for joining us. Uh, Krause, Kitty, and the Chilla. Uh, and uh, thank you to our awesome audience. Have an awesome week. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.